five days after its most powerful general was killed, Iran has retaliated. Iranian forces fired missiles at military bases being used by America in Iraq. Two bases were targeted, the Al-Assad and the Arbil air bases. Iraq says as many as 22 missiles were fired from Iran. This happened in the wee hours of Wednesday. This was an assault on the U.S. military. Iran's most direct attack on America since 1979, when the U.S. embassy, remember, was seized. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, described this strike as a tight slap on America's face. Well, last night we slapped Americans. These military actions are not enough for revenge. What is important is that the corrupt presence of America in this region comes to an end. The Iranian press claims that at least 80 American soldiers died in that attack, but there is no confirmation of that claim yet, either from America or an independent news source. A few hours after the strike, Donald Trump tweeted in an upbeat tone, Trump said, and I'm quoting, all is well. Reports say the American president met with his national security team soon after the strikes. Iran said its operation was a proportional measure in self-defense. While Iranians are cheering this operation, Iran's president Hassan Rouhani said the real revenge would be to drive America out of West Asia. <laughs> They cut off our hands of our dear Soleimani and you saw his hand near his body in videos and pictures. The revenge for that is to force America out of this region. The real revenge and the ultimate response by regional nations is when America is expelled from this region and its hand of aggression is cut off forever. این انتقام واقعی و پاسخ نهایی ملت‌های منطقه به آمریکا است. The killing of Qasem Soleimani has escalated into a dangerous confrontation between Iran and the US. Hours after the strikes in Iraq, the general was buried in his hometown of Kerman. The burial, remember, was called off yesterday. Thousands of people had poured onto the streets, which led to a stampede that killed at least 50 people. Soleimani led almost all Iranian military and intelligence gathering efforts for nearly two decades. He was a hero for Iran, but a terrorist for the United States. Later in the day, Iran's defense minister shared some operational details of that mission. He said that short-range missiles that were built in Iran were used, but gave no confirmation on the casualties. They knew that our revenge was coming, so they had made some preparations. Of course, those preparations didn't help them stop the missiles from hitting the targets. But they had certainly taken measures to prevent casualties. We need some time to see what has happened there. All eyes are now on the Donald Trump administration. Will America retaliate? Will there be another operation soon? So far, the United States has not said much. The events that are unfolding in West Asia are being closely watched here in India. Iran's foreign minister is due to travel to India next week. The Iranian ambassador to India today said that they will welcome any peace initiative by India. India itself is involved in the region. Interest of India, its location, its population in the Persian Gulf and the economic, political, cultural uh, interests of India, of course. Uh, India is a part of the region, should be a part of the disescalation, should be a part of uh, uh, growing and economic growing, peacemaking in this uh, region. We are welcome any initiative from our good friends from India.